Shawnee O'Neal. I guarantee you never imagine basketball wives ending like this. channel we got another episode of basketball wives finally we hit the finale of this good old show scratch that badass show um yeah we've had enough you know hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no more no more no more like we're done you know char just went to the game shawnee o'neal you tried you know it's, it's had its good run um and i'm damn sure you didn't even imagine the shit ending this way i low-key feel like brandy might have put a hex on y'all hoes because after she left the shit started go i mean it was already going down down but after brandy left that shit started going down in a blaze of glory real fast so y'all maybe i need to ask her ask brandy did she go talk to the voodoo healer or something did she go talk to the uh the shaman lady from holes like what did she do because shawnee Damn, like, this shit went down in, like, real fast. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Um, but are we mad about it? Mm, not really, because it started getting redundant. You know, we can only watch Jackie be crazy so many times. We can only watch Evelyn pat her puss on TV so many times. You know, get her married to a different nigga from a different league so many times. You know, you, are you going to get back with Shaq? Don't know, don't care. Um, Kristen, fake ass bitch who left her family, CC, then wants to blame it on her. And Byron, psych, like, Malaysia. I mean, do you want to be friends with Shawnee and Evelyn Woman? Do you want to be friends with Jackie the next? Like, everything was pretty much like getting old, like stale, like moldy bread, okay? But we had to talk about this last season because obviously what happened with OG had a lot of people passionate. Like, at some point, an evolution is going to come. A change is going to come. What, you know, was then is not going to be now. And unfortunately, in that basketball wives world, that football wives world, we all know what these women look like. <laughs> they look like Evelyn, copy and paste, like literally copy and paste. And if a dark skinned girl happens to slide in there, she look like Kristen or she look like Jennifer. Like there is no girl that looks like OG around there or has been like, it just don't happen. So when she stepped on the scene, it was very easy to judge her. Um, did she have some bad wigs? Yes, she did. Did she have some bad outfits? Yeah, she did. Um, but who hasn't? It's the first season. The first season's always the worst because you don't know how to, you know, dress for TV. Uh, it was just, it was just styling. You know, we're, we're OG, we'll let you slide with that. Okay, it was just, it was just a styling choice. All right. But nonetheless, that doesn't, doesn't take away from the fact that Shawnee never got to know you, which is really like behooving because it's like, okay, you talk so much shit about this girl, how she's so aggressive and she's so this and that, but you never got to know her. Like... So how do you know her personality? Like, for real. And are you like, oh, every time I see OG, she's causing commotion. Well, bitch, how you looked at your friend? Like, but you want to call it favoritism. Well, that ism, you know, is very easy to be able to, to be carried over to that colorism spectrum, which is what pretty much happened with OG. There was a different treatment for OG. And yes, can OG be aggressive? Yes. Can yes, um... Sorry, I got a call. I don't know what it is, but every time I do a video, somebody calls me. But nonetheless, all I was saying was, yes, can OG be all these things of abrasive and sometimes aggressive and sure with people and cut them off? Yes, yes, and yes. But guess what? That still don't change the fact of what the what these women did to her was wrong. Still don't change the fact that Shawnee putting her in the goddamn back of the reunion, like, clearly was a big, a huge, like, red flag of colorism. Like... If OG can be all of these things and the ladies can be all of these things uh, on the show, Jackie, Malaysia, Evelyn, very much in particular, Tammy, if all of those ladies can be all of those things and not be put in the back, why is it when OG is all of these things, she is put in the back? So it's like, be equal across the board, Shawnee O'Neal. But the fact that you weren't literally is why everybody's getting on your ass. Like... OG can be all these things, but that still doesn't mean that it's okay to do what they did to her. Um, so, yeah. I, it, well, let's get into actual review because I forgot. I'm not even, I'm going to go off on a rant. Didn't even get into the episode. But, okay, so we open up the episode with basically uh, Jackie, Jennifer, Nia, Naraya, Austin by the pool. They are, are getting ready to get in the pool. They decide to do Champagne Campaign Day. And... 
they're all sitting there talking about like what was going on in the house and Jackie's like well you know what have you really thought or whatever like what has been said da 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 so Nia Nia has really been the one that's been talking like more vocal I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Nia Nia Naraya either I think it's Nia but nonetheless Nia's told Jackie was like oh oh gee she was telling us like oh you know don't trust these bitches you know they're just old and jealous and yeah they might be your friend for right now but they'll stab you behind your back they'll just use you you know, a lot of these old girl, you know, these ladies are just old batches who look at their kids and, you know, look at them angry because of their failed relationships. And it was like, woo, wait a minute. And I, oop, like, damn, I was like, there's some, there's some deep cuts there. But you know what? If OG said that, I doubt it. But if OG said that, I don't care because y'all was cutting her. So bitch, I'm gonna cut back, slice and dice them hoes. Okay. So she uh said all that stuff and so Jackie and Jennifer was like well damn why OG I thought you were somebody who prides yourself on allowing somebody to make their own opinion so apparently OG like leaked some more audio uh of like what actually happened on the show and they cut some more of that shit out it's very obvious the more audio that gets leaked out that there was a clear way that OG was needed to be portrayed this season and that is just another level on top of you know what we're what we're talking about like y'all are making her look a certain type of way because what because what shawnee like think about it honey like literally if this was an all-white cast and og was talking about this stuff like there would be no question but the fact that it's you shawnee and other black women y'all feel like it just can't be possible that other black women can do it to another fellow black woman but it very much can be possible and it can be very much be done without intention like this shit happens subconsciously it can happen people you can do something and not realize you're doing it that's why it's called subconscious um but nobody wants to admit to it shawnee does not want to admit to the fact that she had preconceived notions about og and by already looking at her and feeling like oh you know she would hang out with us she subconsciously started treating her like shit okay it happened shawnee the thing is, grow from it, bitch. Like, grow from it. And the fact that you aren't even speaking to Sha uh, to OG is proving that you don't want to. Like, literally, everything has been going downhill with you, Shawnee. And, I mean, I could say that I feel bad, but I don't. I don't. I really don't. Um, so, when Nia's sitting there saying that OG said all these things, OG had had a whole bunch of stuff on her IG that I need to go look at because apparently, you know, she spilled all the tea again. So Phoebe um ends up coming. Phoebe came in looking like a damn 12-year-old boy with ass shots. Like, damn, Phoebe. Like, girl, you know you was all of, all of 110 pounds. Ladies, please, 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 if you're going to do this, if you're going to get your ass done, start doing some squats. Gain a little weight on the bottom so you don't have the tiny effect. The tiny, I call it the tiny effect, the tiny Harris effect. Because Tiny did this to herself, got that big ass caboose and got no legs to hold that shit up. Like, it is not, it's not good. It is not good. It, it, it don't look good. It heals sore bad. Like, it just, Phoebe, don't do that. Go. Ladies, take note, okay? Please take note. Moving on. Um, so Evelyn comes back to basically talk to Phoebe because she's like, bitch, I'm here. Where y'all at? Damn, Evelyn forgot to call Phoebe and said, bitch, we rolling out. Like, roll out. She forgot to tell Phoebe. And it's like, well, damn, she don't give a fuck about you. Clearly. Uh, so Evelyn finally comes back over and lets Phoebe know, well, basically all the ladies had left because we all tried to talk to OG and we all try to hear her out. And Malaysia and Kristen really tried to do their best and it just wasn't happening, girl. So, you know, we just gave up. So now Phoebe's looking like, well, what the fuck's gonna happen now? Cause I basically got all these COVID tests to come and parlay and it ain't happening. So she ends up asking, uh, or Evelyn ends up asking her, well, you know, the twins are here. Not the twins, but like the sisters are here. Like, what's that gonna mean? I'm mean, like, the other girls are over there. Like the sisters are there. Like, how do you feel about that? Phoebe don't give a damn. She's like, look, I'm not checking for this bird. Like, look, she kept trying to come at me for Lance and I'm not even messing with that dude. Like, I haven't been hopped on that dick and did a full split. I don't know how many years. So why is she coming for me? Like, if she want to go there, I'll go there. But for the most part, like, I'm ignoring her. Cool. Um, so they go in the kitchen and get something to drink. And Jackie calls Evelyn and she's like, oh my God. She's like, well, look, I came back to the house. She's like, oh, you did? 
And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm here with Phoebe because she came down and we forgot to tell Phoebe that we had left. So she's like, you want to say hi? And Phoebe's like, I don't know if I want to do all that. So basically, they're basically trying to preempt into Phoebe and Jackie having an issue still. So Jackie's like, well, we can come over there or you can come over here. Like, you know, it's so whatever it is. Basically, way for all of them to get together so Nia and Phoebe can have their out. So they decide to go over there. Like Jackie goes and tells the other ladies, like, look, let's go over to the other house. Evelyn came back. Like, you know, we can all be grown about it. And so Jennifer finally decides she is going to go over to the other mansion, even though all season she said, I'm not going over to that motherfucking house, right? So OG has literally been locked up in her room all day. So she doesn't get no invite. And Jackie has clearly had like her day plans, which was like the Jamaican something type of party. And she had brought all this like decorations, all types of shit because Jackie had her mind. Damn it, we gonna keep this ball rolling. I done worked too hard. I mean, myself look like too much of a baboon to not keep this shit rolling so I can keep these checks because Jackie has been on long enough to, you know, build up a hell of a check. Like when you, the longer you get on, the longer you're on, the bigger your checks are. And Jackie, the, the whole ancient. So she got ancient checks. She ain't trying to let them hoes slide, period. So she thought she was going to walk over to a whole parlay, Malaysia and all them still be over there. And it was just Evelyn and Phoebe. She said, what the hell? Like, I thought all the ladies was here. And she was like, no. So now Jackie and Jennifer go into the room, into the kitchen. was like, what, what the hell? Like, what we going to do? Like, it's just these two girls. Like, how the hell are we supposed to do this? Like, this don't make no sense. Then we got Nia and, and Phoebe. Like, are they, them two hoes going to get into it? So it's awkward silence. And Phoebe finally said, bump this like let's get straight to the shits like what y'all do to get here and so Nia's like what do you mean she's like what did you do to get here like you're here in my face like what's going on and with the whole OG situation like you called OG or, or you or she called you so you can come and get at me like what is it and so she tried to lie to OG and said that oh OG asked me to come on because she knew we had beef and you know she wanted to like you know since y'all were getting into it she wanted to have some tea or whatever on Lance and OG quick, quickly, quick, fast, in a hurry, rectified that situation with the receipts. I'm telling you, I got to keep y'all receipts, people. It is tax time in uh, OG's book. She basically, she the IRS. She said, I got all the receipts, okay? If you want to have something to me, you better have all the receipts because I got them right here, okay? So now we know that Nia's on that bullshit because really Nia is the one that's been trying to get on through, like, I guess, like some type of after buzz show, like, publicist or like assistant through OG and OG denied it because she was like bitch I don't need your help to fight with Phoebe so now it went from that to okay so but like bitch you still have a problem with me though because here you are did me some disrespectful stuff like about Lance and so what's the problem like what's the issue like you don't remember did me she said well pull up the proof da -da -da -da. and Phoebe did she pulled up the video she's like uh ho, like you didn't send me this right like right here like th like this video right here and she was like, you know what? I, yeah, I did send that to you. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was on some petty shit. You know, be with Lance. You know, he would do petty stuff. So I would do petty shit. He told me that was you. So, you know, I hit you up. Da, 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 da. You know, that's, that's how it is with Lance. He be fucking everybody. Like, obviously, you know, too. So basically, they was low-key able to, like, have an understanding because they both know that the nigga ain't shit. So it was kind of like, okay, bitch, I'm gonna let it slide because I knew he was a dirty dog. You knew he was a dirty dog. We both did some stupid shit over him. Like, I'm gonna let you live type stuff. So because that didn't go as planned, it was honestly the end of the road. So I don't think anybody wants to just start up a fight for no reason because it just wouldn't look right. And because that didn't work, I'm sure production was like, bitch, what do y'all gotta start an argument? So then Phoebe tried to go after um Jackie well you know Jackie y'all still can't trust Jackie though because you know she turned up on me Jackie's like Phoebe Furby Fubarese all the names that y'all call Phoebe like we don't want to do this and she's like I really thought we had a good time like I thought we really made up Phoebe like this isn't what I want to do you know I, I like I really liked you yeah we got into it but you know overall like I feel like we're in a good spot so Phoebe's like okay Jackie like I'll let you know we'll see we'll see girl so then they go from that to Jennifer and Evelyn kind of talking, basically saying they wish neither each other like ill will. Jennifer, as much as you sitting there trying to act all big and bold, like you don't want to sit there and be in the in crowd, you do. You want to be a part of Shawnee and Evelyn's bad girl clicks. Everybody wants to be part of the bad girl. It's amazing. It's amazing that type of how like old them old batches can really create this like 
you know, Mean Girls, Regina George, click thing that everybody wants to be part of. Everybody wants to sit at the table until Shawnee basically gets to hit you with the you can't sit with this type shit, uh, which is what she did to Brandy. Uh, thank you for your services. Uh, Shawnee, from everybody to you, uh, thank you for your services. <laughs> Literally everybody in the world has said, thank you for your services, bitch karma. I'm telling you, that hoe is serious. Um, so basically they was like, bitch, okay, I see you, you see me. It is, we good. So they head back to the house and Jackie is slowly but surely watching all of her, all of her raining coins come down and just, just go to shit because Right now, her bag is slowly but surely leaving her grip, okay? She is not wanting to have her bag fucked with. So, OG comes down, and she's like, I need to have one last shot. You know, she's like, girl, like, I don't believe these girls really do that. I don't think they would, like, look at you like that. I don't think they would treat you that way. OG, like, is there anything that, you know, you can say? Like, what can you say? Like, I really don't think these girls are racist or colors, like, anything like that. And OG's like, Jackie, no, this is what it is. This is how I feel. This is how I'm staying. You can't change my mind. So now Jennifer and OG get into it because it's like, bitch, the problem is you. Like Jennifer, Jennifer started going off, y'all, talking about, oh, I'm like, OG, don't nobody want to do this with you. You've had an attitude the whole time. You haven't been hanging out with us. Like you've just been in a bad mood. So don't nobody want to be around that. Wasn't nobody treating you fucked up. You was acting all out. Can't nobody hang around you. And so basically OG was like, oh, oh, okay. Let the, let the true colors come out. Now, now we see how you really feel. And that's kind of what it was. Like Jennifer, damn, you really like played your cards. You was trying to be quiet the most of the time. But I think the further it got to an end, like realizing, oh, this is the end of the road. Like it's like, well, shit, I might as well say what I got to say now. So then she's like girl you just need to get up out of here because don't nobody want to have to deal with your energy and so og was like i'm not leaving until the host says something so jackie's like og like girl you know you know you're my girl you know you're my girl but you know like i just don't think nobody would do that to you and so she's like look plain and simple do you want me to leave jackie and she's like og that's it that's it and so she gets her shit and she packs up and she hit the road, Jack. And Jackie downstairs giving her best Viola Davis performance. And, you know, I love that girl. You know, I really was standing by her side. And, you know, I really stood up for her. And I just I just know them ladies wouldn't do that to her. Like, I tried to be there, be understanding. Everybody patting on Jackie's back. Like, the only thing Jackie had in her mind was that money. I mean, I can't blame her. But, like, at what point do you sacrifice your dignity, yourself, and your fellow sister for the bag and for white folks. Y'all gonna make a fool of yourself for white folks on TV. Like, I would think the only thing, oh, like, y'all really just could have, like, sat down and even, to, like, even if you know you didn't do that shit, even if you didn't mean to make OG feel that way, then that's how you say that. You say, damn, OG, like, if you really feel that way, I definitely didn't mean to feel you that, like, make you feel that way because that's what, in my heart, I didn't think I was doing. But you know what? You feel that way, I gotta take, you know, responsibility for that. I made you feel that way and I apologize. Like, literally, that would be it. And we would be over this shit, okay? But y'all want to sit here and play boo with a fool. But unfortunately for y'all, us reviewers and viewers ain't boo with a fool. So it's like, here it is. Y'all let the whole shit implode. Y'all really ain't got no person to be mad at Bishani. Be mad at Bishani. And look, Shani gonna be good. Her last name, O'Neal. Shani gonna be good. And she got five of that nigga's kids. Five, four or five of the nigga's kids. She gonna be good, okay? Y'all, on the other hand, Evelyn gonna be back smutting it up in whichever, you know, league she chooses this time. Jackie, shit, does that podcast work? You could always be a spokesperson for the pins. Malaysia, oh, bitch, what is your, what is your job? What is your job? What do you do? Jennifer, bitch, you're going to have to get married to somebody else to find you another Nigerian. I hope he don't take calls. Uh, Kristen, don't give a damn about you. Cece, she good. Okay, Cece got a degree and her own job. Um, OG, she good. Like, she played football. She got football money. Um, who else is there? Phoebe, girl, Phoebe. I don't, whew, I don't know what's going to happen to you because I know you for sure ain't got no money. I guess you're going to have to start taking Instagram pictures for Fashion Nova um and that's pretty much it like me and Naraya, y'all tried it y'all tried to make y'all's little entrance but that's it boo boo bye um and i got nothing else for y'all y'all hoes can kick rocks i'm done reviewing this shit y'all to make my stomach hurt 
I was already not feeling good, but just talking about you bitches like got my head hurting. Um, although I don't agree with everything that OG has said about it, like what she accused of be colorism, I can address that there are definitely three out of the four things that she said was colorism was colorism and that's enough. Like I don't have to agree with everything, but I can be, you know, open enough to acknowledge that some of the shit that she was talking about definitely was colorism. Um, and they let her walk out solo dolo, which is another form of colorism. Like I can't, I can't. This shit ain't coming back. It ain't coming back unless it's some different people or unless a different EP or something like that. It ain't coming back, period. Uh, but are we sad about it? Don't think so. So that's kind of it, you guys. Um, I ain't talking about this shit no more. We ain't gonna bring it back up. Y'all tell me how you feel about OG leaving. How y'all feel about, you know, Jackie, you know, putting on this, you know, Oscar performance that she was trying to cry about. How you guys feel about Nia and Araya? Like, Nia, bitch, you sneaky. Bitch, you sneaky. She said, if I can't come in the front door... Or the back door, bitch, I'm going to jump through this window. <laughs> I'm going to get through this window, bitch. Um, yeah, that's it, y'all. I got to go. I'm hungry. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all know what y'all got to do. Comment down below. Tell y'all how you feel about this season. Um, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.